Greetings and salutations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to roll your Linux Mint 18.3 installation back to the earlier 4.4 long-term support Ubuntu kernel if you are having problems with the 4.15 kernel series. Many people out there have told me that when the update came down from Linux Mint to move from kernel 4.13 to 4.15 that it broke a lot of stuff and on every machine that I personally maintain that runs Linux Mint I have run into exactly the same thing I had one machine that the Wi-Fi got broken a virtual machine here ran really slow and kept hanging up and then as far as my mom's machine, she runs Linux Mint 18.3, her printer stopped working. So my solution to this is to roll the kernel back, and I'm going to show you exactly how that is done. So we have Linux Mint up and running in this virtual machine, and I need a terminal in Linux Mint, not here. And I'm going to show you how you can figure out exactly what kernel you're on with one very simple little command. Just type in U name and you can put R on it and that will just give you a short version and it's telling us that we are on kernel 4.15.0-29 generic that is the long-term support kernel for Ubuntu 18.04 which Linux Mint has rolled everybody over to if you're continuing to run Linux Mint 18.3 so if you're having problems, we'll have to fix that. I'll go ahead and close this terminal. And we will open up the update manager. Make sure all your packages are up to date. And then we go to View, Linux Kernels. You'll get a warning message. It's just telling you that Linux kernels can mess up stuff on the system and you probably already know that because the 4.15 update has broken something on yours. And I already have the 4.4 kernel installed. Here's the 4.15. It says it's active. This is the one we're on. And what you will want to do is to click on the 4.4 series here and then click here to choose install. Right now, because it is installed, it would remove it if I would click that button. We can go one down. I can show you what that looks like. So we'll say yes. And it's going to ask for your password. And now it will go out and it will get that kernel, download it, and install it on your system. And says it's downloading files but it's taking its time so actually I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that yes I know we're not gonna do it's okay it's no problem no harm no foul nothing bad happened so we'll go back to the kernels now so what you want to make sure is that you have the very latest that would be at the top of the list in this tool and right now as of the recording of this video it would be 4.4 0-131. Now, this is the long-term support kernel for Ubuntu 16.04, which Linux Mint 18.3 is based on. And all of these kernels in between, 4.8, 4.10 series, we have the 4.11 series and the 4.13 series, these are what is known as hardware enablement kernels from Ubuntu. This is how Ubuntu gets new features uh, hardware wise into the long-term support releases and Linux Mint as you upgrade from Linux Mint let's say you started out with 18 18.1 18.2 then you would be moved to a different series of kernels all of these are only supported for nine months so if you have any of these installed you need to get rid of them and then we can't uninstall the 4.15 kernel. We can't remove that because it's the one that's running. So to do that, what we're going to have to do is we'll have to reboot the machine and go into the grub menu and tell it what kernel we want to be on so we can be in 4.4. Before you do that, 
Go through all of these old kernels because if Grub sees any kernels newer than 4.4, it will try and boot into them. So we want to make sure that they're all gone, either now or after we reboot. So now that you have that installed, we can go ahead and reboot the system. And go ahead and close that. And the last time that I tried this, it hung up. So it's probably going to do that now. Yes, it hung up. Tell it I want to shut down anyway. And I'm just going to wait because uh, I need to hold down the shift key while this is booting up. And that's what you'll need to do on your machine. So as soon as you see your splash screen for your BIOS or UEFI or whatever it is, what you need to see, that would be the name of your computer like Dell or HP, you know, that splash screen that comes up. You need to make sure that you're holding down the shift key. Now this is going to take its own sweet time. This is one of the problems that I was having with this kernel. So now it is shutting itself down. It actually just shut itself completely down. See it's acting real squirrely. So I'm going to start it back up. And now I'm holding down the shift key and I've gotten into the grub menu. Now I know this is a little hard to see gang. But what I want is advanced options for Linux Mint 18.3 Cinnamon. And then you're going to get a list of kernels. And right now I have two installed, 4.15 and 4.4. So we want to boot from the 4.4 kernel and you have other options that go with this. You'll see it says uh, you've got one for upstart and you've got one for recovery. We don't want that, just a standard boot. So we're going to choose 4.4. There it goes. Now we're booting the machine off that particular kernel. And once we get it booted, we can remove 4.15. And you'll probably notice that when it's running on the 4.4 kernel that it will be a lot more stable. This was a problem that I was having in the virtual machine of Linux Mint that I keep around. And it's just simply because of the fact that it's one of those deals where, yes, technically you should be able to run Ubuntu 16.04 or Linux Mint 18.3 on this 4.15 kernel, but it breaks a lot of stuff. Whereas the old 4.4 kernel, if you do not need any of the hardware enablement features that are provided by the latest kernels, you're running on an old machine, then you'd be fine on the old 4.4 kernel. Just stay where you're at. And that seems to be the case. I had the same issue happen with Linux Mint 17.3 when the new long-term support version of Ubuntu came out, when 16.04 came out, and 17.3 was based on 14.04. They did the kind of the same thing. It's I had to roll it back on the older kernel to make it work. So we can just you name R to see what kernel we're on. Now we're on 4.4. We know we're good. So open up the update manager. And we go to Linux kernels. We're going to get the same message. Kernels are bad. Be careful with them. They can break stuff. Yeah, we know. And we'll go ahead and remove this kernel, and it'll confirm with your password. Now the only kernels that we should have installed anywhere at all is in the 4.4 series. We should have no other kernels installed on the machine because Grub just looks for the latest version of the kernel, and that's the one it chooses to boot off of first. And this is just the easiest way to do this. I mean, there's there are other ways. You can go in and tell your Grub, you can go in and tell Grub exactly what kernel you want it to do, but that's a lot of hacking and a lot of terminal stuff. It's just easier to be on this kernel. Now, before we call it quits, there's one more thing that we need to do, and that is we go to preferences. And then down here you'll see that it says always show kernel updates. Right there. But we don't want it to always select kernel updates. So that may be turned on on your system. 
turn that off like that so it should look like that. And what that will do is it will not automatically move to a new series of kernels, even if Linux Mint sent down an update to do so. And it should still show you the updated kernel for a, the Ubuntu 4.4 LTS kernel series, and you should be able to go ahead and install those. But it's not going to move out of that. It's going to stay right where it is. So that is the way that should work. Uh, not really sure what it's going to do in the future. Just keep an eye on your updates as you come in because you certainly want to install the latest kernel when you get an update. You want to make sure that uh, you are on the latest version of the kernel. And that is all you really need to know about this. Uh, Ubuntu kernels are very confusing and Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. So if you are going to be a power user of Linux Mint if you're going to want to do more than just point and click and make it happen and be able to maintain your machine it does behoove you to go read up on how these kernels work and you can look at that in the Ubuntu documentation so I hope this video helped thank you for watching please be sure and check out Easy Linux on the web check out Easy Linux on Facebook and also check out freedompenguin.com for lots of cool stories about Linux, and I am out of here.